Hi everyone, in this video we are just going to create the first ever project of LED Blink in ESP32 development mode using ESP IDE of framework in Expressive IDE. Let's get started. So before continuing in this particular video, I highly highly recommend each one of you to watch my previous video that is creating a project from scratch in Expressive IDE using ESP IDF. So in that particular video, I have just taught how to create a project in Expressive IDE using ESP IDF from scratch. So I will not be teaching and uh, wasting time the same thing in this particular video. If you are newbie to this particular concept of ESP IDF and Expressive IDE, just watch that particular video before continuing in this video. And now let's include the headers required right over here for LED Blink project. I'm just going to leave this stdio.h and the next header that I'm going to include right over here is free or toss and free or toss.h because we, we are just going to run the free or toss for the project of LED Blink or for any project that you are running in Expressive IDE using ESP IDF we will be using the free or toss task only so I am just going to include again the free or toss and uh, task.h And the next uh, thing that I'm going to include is driver slash gpio.h for accessing the APIs and uh, peripherals such as GPIO general purpose input output prints of ESP32. You just want to include this particular gpio.h. And if you want the ESP log API, you can include the ESP underscore log header i will show you what this is actually esp underscore log dot h for logging and visualizing the output that you get in the program on the terminal right over here so for that particular purpose we are just including the esp log we will visualize this particular concept in the end of this video first we will just build the project of led blink so in the initial segment before continuing in this programming part, let us discuss the schematic diagram that we are going to build in the breadboard. So let us discuss about the schematic diagram that we are going to build in the breadboard for visualizing the output in the hardware. On the left you can see the room 32 38 pin development board which I am having and if you are having a 30 pin room 32 development board just look into the pin nodes of the ESP32 or room 32 30 pin node development board in my case I am using 38 pin development board so I am just referring the pin note of 38 pin room or ESP32 development board so you can see this is the LED that I am going to connect and left terminal right over here is the anode and right terminal is the cathode and I am just going to connect the anode to the GP23 of the ESP32 and the cathode to the ground of ESP32. So this is the circuit that I am going to build. The cathode I am just going to connect it to the ground right over here. And the anode I am just going to connect it to GP23 or pin number 37 in the ESP32 or room 32 38 pin development port. I am not going to connect any resistor since I am operating this ESP32 in 3.3 volts. So this uh, LED will not be blown off because it is operated in 3.3 volts. For safety reasons, you can also add a 1 kilo ohms or 220 ohms resistor right over here if you want. That is also okay. But if you leave this as it is also, there will be no effect on the LED. The LED will be blinking. Let's jump into the programming part in Expressive IDE. So we obviously discussed the schematic diagram that we are going to build. We are just going to connect the LED to LED to 
GPIO 23 of ESP32. This is what we are just going to do for configuring the GPIO 23 as output pin. Since LED is an output device, we just want to use the API GPIO underscore set underscore direction. And this particular API receives two different parameters. One is the GPIO pin which you want to configure and second parameter is the configuration that you want to do for the GPIO pin mentioned in the parameter one. So the first parameter is the GPIO pin number. So here I can just write like 23 since I'm going to configure 23rd GPIO pin and the second uh, parameter is the mode of configuration that you want to provide. So here you can write like GPIO underscore mode underscore output and terminating this. Now you see the first parameter is 23 pin and I am configuring the 23rd pin as GPIO mode output. So this particular 23rd pin will be configured in output mode and after that I am just going to reset the state of 23rd pin that can be done by GPIO underscore reset pin just to give the number 23 as the parameter. So this will reset the state of the pin to 0 initially and coming inside the while of true here I am just going to perform the blinking operation. Here turn on LED, wait for one second, turn off LED, wait for one second. This is the process that I am going to perform inside the infinite loop that is while of true right over here. So first step is I am just going to turn on the LED. For that you can use the API GPIO set level. This also receives two different parameters. First one is the pin number. Let me just give it as 23 and second one is the level. So here the level is nothing but the state that you want to bring the pin. If you provide one right over here, pin will be made high. If you provide zero right over here, the pin will be made low. This is the concept. So one right over here will bring the pin to high state and zero right over here will bring the pin to low state. So here I'm just turning on the LED. So I'm just bringing the 23rd pin high. And for producing the delay, you can use the function v task delay. Here, the parameter of this function goes like 1000 divided by port tick period ms. So when you write like this, it produces exactly one second or thousand millisecond delay. I am just going to copy this particular line. Here I am just pasting it, changing the value here to be zero for turning off the LED. And again, I am just going to copy the V task delay function right over here for producing the same one second delay. So here the LED will be turned on, GPIO 23rd will be turned on, it will wait here for one second, again it will be turned off and again it will be waiting here for one second and the process continues from here because all these lines are written inside the while of true, that is infinite loop. Now I have already connected my ESP32 to my breadboard and uh, the ESP32 is connected to my PC through micro USB cable. So now I am just going to dump my flash right over here to the board by clicking on this particular icon that is play icon right over here. Before loading the program just uh, put this particular reset pin GPIO IPI above the set direction and then save this script. Now I am just going to click on this particular icon for loading the flash to my ESP32.
you can see my program has been loading to my ESP32 development board and here is the output in my hardware my LED which is connected to GPIO 23 is blinking at a rate of 1 second so this is the output which I got in the hardware see you in the next video thanks for watching